Mental health is a global issue that has not been considered as important as other global problems. 13% of the population suffered from mental health issues, and around 10 to 20% of youth suffer from mental health. During this pandemic, the number increases exponentially. In the United States, it increases by 1,000% from April 2019 to April 2020. Unfortunately, most cases are left underdiagnosed and undertreated due to the stigma in our society, leading the mental health sufferers to experience difficulties in identifying their problems. Supports that are available are still limited, although there are some technology-based treatments that can help them. Currently, there are more than 10,000 mental health apps, such as Visa, Inner Hour, Relief, and many more. However, we spotted some issues from the current applications, like the lack of privacy and security, reliable information, user interface quality, and appropriate information means. Hello, my name is Katrina Angeli, and these are my colleagues, Nadia Natalia and Rachel Tao. Responding to the need for available support for mental health sufferers, we developed a mobile application named Hub that aims to be the first aid for mental health sufferers to share, track, and consult their current mental health condition, as well as an educational tool to raise public awareness. The app mainly targets teenagers who suffer from depression and anxiety. So, how did we conduct our research? In this research, we did literature review, interviews with Ina Luna Nienti, a professional psychology practitioner, and Gila Agusationo, a psychology student, as well as doing an analysis of current applications to find out the strengths and weaknesses. Furthermore, we collaborated with Piggy Recreate Technology International in planning, consulting, and creating hub. We prepared the concept, the flows, the functions, and details of the application. Meanwhile, PTRTI created the app simulation and refined the user interface by using waterfall methodology, which is a software development process. From the interview, there are several situations and needs of the sufferers that has to be considered in creating the app. Firstly, we need to educate people about mental health issues to reduce the stigma in society. Secondly, instead of being a substitution for face-to-face -face treatment, mental health application functions as a support to improve the mental health condition. In addition, video conferences have been approved by the Association of Psychologists America as one of the treatment platforms for mental health issues. Another obstacle in the mental health issue is self-diagnose that might lead to mistreatment. Lastly, in creating the app, you have to give the sufferers more authorization to turn the features on or off based on their needs. Now, we're going to show you how the application works. Firstly, you choose your desired language, your current location, and of course, the privacy policy. Then, if you haven't been diagnosed clinically, you must fill the diagnose task in order to minimize the self-diagnose practices so you can get proper treatment based on your issue. The application will automatically evaluate the form and announce your current mental state. In the menu button, you can find your profile if you have logged in. In my profile, you can change profile pictures, insert your personal data and bio, as well as keep your data hidden or anonymous. There are also settings to turn on or off several features and to reset your data, frequently asked questions, privacy policy, terms and conditions, contacts, and subscription status. In contacts, you can add up to five emergency contacts that are trusted and are able to help you in urgent situations. On the main dashboard, there are five features which are feeds, friends, mental care, professional care, and education. However, feeds, friends, and professional care features are not accessible if you do not log in. Now, if you click on feeds, you can post your status and give flags and comments to other user status. And also, it shows the achievement status and a live video notification. Live video is done weekly by public figures and it will be accompanied by experts. On the top corner right, you will find a friend request list where you can either accept or decline the request. 
in France, you can find your personal and group chats. If you enable your location, then you can see a map of your friend's location as well. However, you can choose to disable this feature. Now we have mental care. There are three services of mental care. First, meditation, where you can choose one of the courses. Second, mood tracker, to state how you're feeling today on a scale of 1 to 5, as well as goals, where you can set your personal goals. Then, you also have professional care. In order to access this feature, you have to subscribe to our app. You can choose your own preferences of the psychologist, and then we'll assign one of our partner psychologists to you. In this feature, you can do chat and video call with your psychologist. However, for starters, you have to start with a chat, and then later on, you can set your own schedule with the psychologist to have video call. And last but not least, you have education. This feature provides both academically and clinically reliable information. It consists of info, where your issue will be explained in detail, as well as updating articles and news to help you enrich your knowledge about the issue. To sum up, Hug provides six main features contacts, feeds, friends, mental care, professional care, and education, as well as providing full authorization of the features based on their needs. For further research, we're planning to collaborate with professional psychologists in providing self-diagnosed tests, as well as NGOs, to raise awareness about mental health and HUG. With HUG, let's heal, understand, and grow.